Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Christmas trees. We just saw that Santa Claus received most of his defining characteristics in the early and middle um, 1800s. So now let's talk about the Christmas tree and see how it came to be a popular part of Christmas. Of course, we've already seen that the use of greenery and winter celebrations was pretty common in the ancient world, including the Roman Empire. And we also talked about the way that trees were used as a part of Yule in other parts of Europe. So using greenery in celebrations was popular in many parts of the world, including ancient Egypt and many other cultures. These people groups didn't necessarily get that idea by copying each other. In some cases, they didn't even have contact with each other. So how did they all get the same idea? Well, it's just obvious that in winter, when the trees are mostly leafless and the green plants die, it's comforting to find something that remains green and use it as a sign of life and new birth. But when the church began celebrating Christmas in the fourth century and beyond, I think it's fair to say that they did probably take some cues from Saturnalia. However, whatever they took, they modified it and they Christianized it. So, for example, they put apples on their trees to remind them of the Garden of Eden. They took the holly that was used in Saturnalia to signify new life, and they used that to represent the crown of thorns. And so, yes, the early church's use of greenery probably had ancient pagan origins, although they were Christianized. However, that's got nothing to do with where we get our modern use of greenery from. There is no connection. Listen to me. There is no connection between the idea of our Christmas trees and ancient pagan cultures and their festivals. In fact, our Christmas trees are not even connected to ancient Christian traditions. For the source of our Christmas tree, we have to move forward to the late Middle Ages and the early modern world. In the Middle Ages, there was a celebration that took place on December 24th called Adam and Eve Day. And there were these things called paradise plays that were very popular in Europe. And Luther loved to use these plays that told the story of Adam and Eve to set the stage for the story of the birth of Christ. These plays featured what was called a paradise tree. And as early as the 14th century, people started setting up these paradise trees indoors. The paradise tree that we, was used on December 24th ended up becoming the Christmas tree that we use on Christmas Day. The earliest modern example of a Christmas tree dates back to 1510 in Latvia and then in France not long after that. In 1561, Christmas trees were so popular in one particular French region that was still traditionally German at the time that an ordinance actually had to be passed restricting families to one tree only. They wanted multiple trees in their house and the government told them no. So Christmas trees in France were decorated with apples, with foil and nuts and other things. And in the 1500s, we also have records of the Christmas tree popping up in parts of Germany. Eventually, the Christmas tree would be connected more to Germany than any other place in the world. And for a long time, it was thought that Christmas trees were a Lutheran thing. That's another way of saying they were a Protestant thing. Catholics used nativity scenes for Christmas. Protestants used Christmas trees. It wasn't until the 1800s that the Christmas tree became popular in England and then in America. In the middle of the 18th century, King George III married a German woman by the name of Charlotte, and she brought the Christmas tree to England with her. But even at that time, it didn't become popular. A few Christmas trees also appeared in America during the colonial days, but it didn't spread as a trend at that time either. The tradition of placing a Christmas tree in your home at Christmas time didn't actually become popular until 1840 when Queen Victoria married Prince Albert who brought a Christmas tree from Germany with him to display in his new home at Windsor Palace in London. And then within a decade, every home in England almost sported a Christmas tree. And then after that, America followed suit as well. And the Christmas tree grew in popularity throughout the 19th century and into the 20th. In 1885, there was a Christmas tree put on display at the New Orleans Exposition. In 1923, a Christmas tree was put on display at, on the South Lawn of the White House. But probably the greatest moment in the history of the modern Christmas tree came in 1933 when the first tree was placed in Rockefeller Center in New York. And by that time, the Christmas tree had become a staple in American Christmas tradition. And so the purpose of the modern indoor Christmas tree was actually to serve as a repository for gifts. Originally, a small tree stood on a round table and small gifts were hung from the branches or whatever. Larger gifts would be sat on the table around the tree. And over time, as the gifts grew larger and more numerous, 
The size of the tree grew until it would no longer fit on the table, and then it was put on the floor where a large number of presents could be placed underneath.